Hello everyone! Today I'm going to be going over how World in Conflict is related to the 19th century art movement of post-impressionism. Let's just jump right into it. This is an example of a post-impressionistic piece of the era. You can tell by its bright vivid colors, its accurate portrayal of the lighting, the real-life scene that it is depicting, the buildings are well-defined but you can't really see the details, stuff like that. Here's another great example. How's a game like this, which is World in Conflict, is related to something that looks like this? Well, the answer is in how the story is portrayed, and the story is portrayed like this. This is very clearly a post-impressionism piece. It has all the features, very clearly defined brush strokes that are easy to see, the bright colors, the bright lights, stuff like that. And I feel like they chose this art form because of the because of the colors, the lights. So here's an example. Here's a uh, some context. We've been given our next mission. It's going to be a hard mission. It's going to be a dark mission. We've been given bad news. The lighting reflects this in matching the tone. The dark colors match the dark tone. Another example, the light colors here match the light tone of the mission we're being given. We're being given good news. This is a good mission we're going on. We're going to do good things. And this is why I feel like World in Conflict chose that kind of art form rather than something else, because its emphasis on the lighting and the colors will reflect the tone that they're trying to portray. And that's the end. Thanks for watching.